In this video, I'm going to put together an off-meta build, test it in some heroic content, but if I go down, I will delete the entire build. Hello, I'm Abrax, and welcome to Off Meta, where I take an underused or just bad exotic named piece of gear or gear set and put a build together around it. Then, taking it into a heroic mission or control point to test the build out. However, if I am downed or if I'm killed, I will deconstruct the entire build, losing all of the gear, weapons, materials, and time I've put into it. The rules are simple, this is an off-meta build, so no Fox's Prayer, no Contractor's Gloves, and no Revive Hive, because let's be honest, that would be cheating. I'm sorry. The point of these videos is to take an underused piece of gear and make a smart, well thought out, efficient build. You click on the video, and you expect to see something different, fresh, a step away from the meta. In that, I have failed you. I stand by what I've done, and I believe the theory is sound. But the outcome... The build sh- Alright, to be honest, it's not that bad, but it's not really great. For this video, I have been working around the holster Imperial Dynasty, recommended by Tom Spear in the comments of my previous off-meta video. A lot of people have actually asked me about the Merciless Rifle, but to be honest, I don't really know what to do with it yet, so you might have to bear with me for that one. Alright, the holster. The Imperial Dynasty holster ignites enemies that get too close with a 35 second cooldown. This sounds pretty good, but in practice, you actually hardly notice it, which is weird, but we will play on it the best we can. The first place my mind went to when I was looking at this holster is the Eclipse gear set, a gear set that helps spread status effects on kill. Perfect, right? In theory, you could load up on status effect, get close enough to ignite an NPC, then let the fire spread and do the rest. I was pretty on board with this idea, but to be honest, it just felt too close to the skill Eclipse build that some of you may have seen or ran when clearing floors in the summit. And I don't want this to be a series touching on existing builds, but trying to put something new and interesting together, so for now, I shelved that idea. But I couldn't stop thinking about it, it was really the only thing that I could see taking full advantage of the Imperial Dynasty, which is frustratingly Eclipse. And if I'm honest, I'm not really a skill build kind of guy. I have a few for special occasions, but they aren't really on my go-to list. I prefer a good amount of red cores and weapon damage. Bear with me here. What about a red core eclipse build? Personally, I can't say it's something I've ever tried before, and it could give a pretty interesting playstyle. And this is how I found the base of this build. It of course has the Imperial Dynasty holster, and now we have four pieces of Eclipse in the mix, one gap to fill. So the firm handshake gloves came out of the stash, and the build started to come together. Let's go over what I came up with and how I expect it to play before jumping into a heroic mission and seeing how it actually does. For the mask, I have an Eclipse protocol mask with weapon damage, status effect, and crit chance in the mod slot. The chest is an Eclipse chest, giving it the two-piece gear set bonus of 15% status effect, something that I want to stack as much as possible. For the attributes, I have weapon damage in the core, a little crit chance for the miner, and more crit chance in the mod slot. I wouldn't have minded more status effect in the miner attribute, but I had to craft the chest, and RNGs were just not with me, so this was the best out of the bunch. The chest also adds the peripheration talent to the gear set, increasing the transmission range to 15 meters, and the status refresh to 75, giving us a wider radius and a longer burn. For the holster, I of course have the Imperial Dynasty, an exotic holster that comes with skill tier for the core, status effect, and hazard protection for the minor attributes. For its talent, it has Dragon's Glare, while in combat applies a burn to the closest enemy to you within 20 meters. Cooldown is 35 seconds. As an exotic talent, this is fine. It's not a massive game changer, and to be honest, I think it's on the weaker side compared to a lot of other exotic gear. But I'm gonna see what it can really do shortly. For the backpack, I have also decided to run the Eclipse backpack, but this is less about status effect and more about damage. With this being the third piece of Eclipse, I get the three-piece gear set bonus of 15% skill haste and 30% hazard protection. For the core, I have more weapon damage, and for the minor, I have status effect, and in the mod slot, I have some crit damage. The backpack gives the gear set the system aggravator talent, which is where I'm trying to get that little bit more damage from. 
This talent gives the build 30% amplified damage to enemies affected with a status effect, which ties in very nicely with the Imperial Dynasty holster. For the gloves, I'm using the named Sokolov Gloves Firm Handshake. This gives me 10% SMG damage from the bronze set bonus, and I have weapon damage and crit damage for the attributes. Being a named piece of gear, Firm Handshake's claim to fame is its unique attribute of 15% status effect, which goes very nicely with the rest of the build. And finally, for the knees, I have a pair of Eclipse knee pads for the four-piece gear set bonus, Indirect Transmission. Your status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within a 10 meter radius, and refresh 50% of the duration. This is what really synergizes with Dragon's Glare from the holster. I should be able to move in, ignite, burst them down with the weapon, and then spread the burn to other enemies. In theory, this is how I want it to work, but there are a few factors I am worried about. First, having enough damage to take out a target before the burn ends. This is an odd one because trying to remedy this is actually what causes the issue in the first place. I need to stack status effect to prolong the burn. To do that, I have to reduce crit chance and crit damage. So lengthening the burn means I may not have enough damage to burst down the burning enemy. But if I went in the other direction, having a higher crit chance and damage means a shorter burn. If I had more testing time in the firing range, I imagine I could find a sweet spot somewhere, but for the sake of this video, I've just gone all in on status effect, with that being the real gimmick I want to run with. For the attributes here, I also have weapon damage and of course, more status effect. Now onto the weapons. So I didn't really have anything concrete in mind when it came to the weapons. I did know that I wanted to use ignited somewhere, and since I had SMG damage on the gloves, I thought that might be a good place to start. I know the named M4 Pyromaniac also seems like a good choice here, but really side by side in the firing range, there wasn't a huge difference. I didn't really have a preference on what SMG I wanted to use, so I decided on crafting a P90. Odd choice I know, but part of the fun of this series for me is trying out different things, and I don't think I've ever really used a high-end P90 other than Emmeline's Guard. Plus it kind of gives me old school Stargate SG-1 vibes. Uh, Major, demonstrate the weapon on single shot. On this, for the third attribute, I have crit damage. I would have preferred damage to targets out of cover, but like I said, this was crafted, so I had to take the best I could. And for the mods on the P90, I just have crit chance everywhere. For the secondary, I went with an M4AR with fast hands to keep up a constant amount of damage against burning enemies. Testing in the firing range, I noticed the burn was so fast that it burnt out on elites before I could actually take them down, so I was hoping that using fast hands would lower the time between doing damage. For the third attribute on the M4, I have damage to targets out of cover. For the specialization, I am running Firewall. This is mainly for the 20% burn duration, but the cluster grenade and burn to enemies within a five meter radius on armor break definitely doesn't hurt. For the skills, I'm using the Firestarter Chem Launcher to help apply burn at range, and the Striker Shield. Not Crusader Shield, Striker Shield, because loopholes. That's the build, here's a quick look at the whole thing, and now it is time to jump into a mission to see how it goes. And if I am 100% honest, this is the first time in this series, after testing in the firing range a little, I really don't feel very confident. So the build is ready, and whether I'm confident or not, it's time to pick a mission. We are... Viewpoint Museum. Alright, let's jump in. The goal here is to use the holster to ignite an enemy, to damage that enemy with a weapon, and then spread the burn. Let's see if that works. No one gonna ignite you. Alright, so that was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. It worked. That worked perfectly. The problem is the, the build has like very little weapon damage and survivability so far not too bad but i'm still not feeling great about this 
So this room, I'm gonna use the chem launcher because they're quite a way away. I don't think I'll trigger anyone with the holster. However, you're all in a nice little group. So far, this is going better than I thought it would. I didn't think I'd get this far, if I'm being completely honest. I am playing this far too fast and loose. To be honest, the majority of this build is crafted. I don't think I'd be losing anything kind of super valuable. I suppose the holster. The holster would go. I like the holster. Also, crap, I've just remembered the gloves are on here. I genuinely think this build has potential, but it needs to find the right balance to work. Sadly, unlike I intended, the holster isn't really enough to keep the ball rolling. The one thing I have noticed playing through these this series, where I make a random build and kind of jump into some heroic, the difference when I go back to a well put together build is phenomenal. You just skip through heroic content. The second I put something on that I'm either not used to, or underperforms compared to what I'm used to, it's just, it's a bad time. Did we ever figure out? what he's doing talking to one of the looters or oh, the underground sorry not a looter the underground so what's just happened there is the game's crashed on me holy crap okay cool right i am back the crash happened, I booted everything back up. Still here. I'ma just carry on, that's cool. This is how I imagined it working. No. All right, dead. This is exactly how I saw it going. So that's what I wanted to happen. I wanted that chain reaction of ignite, weapon damage, ignite, and just chain them all together. The main problem is either DPS is too low or burn duration is too low. One of them needs increasing. And the burn took out the other jammer. Is it just me and him? I'm too nervous to go check. Use that to get him to stop. Amazing. And an exotic SMG. Ah. <sighs> Mixed feelings. So the build works. It does what I wanted it to do. You get close, you ignite, you can use the SMG or, you know, whatever weapon you choose to do damage and then spread the burn. That kind of works. The problem is the duration of the burn is either too short or the DPS you can do is too low. So it's very difficult. On a red bar, you're fine. A red bar gets ignited, you burst them down, no problem. On an elite, the burn duration just goes whoop and you can't put the damage out to get them before that kind of bur burns out, so to speak. So yeah, mixed feelings, yes and no. It does work and it kind of doesn't work. I think 
there is a balance to be found. I think there is a point where this build just works. Right now, as I discuss at the beginning of the video, I have all weapon damage except for the holster, and then I have status effect pretty much everywhere except for the chest. I wonder if I could load in more crit damage and do more damage faster, or just maybe half and half it with status effect, try and find some kind of sweet spot. But for now, it works, kind of, and doesn't, kind of. Y you get it, you get it. All right, let's, let's quickly do a wrap up. Let's do a conclusion. This build very much works the way I thought it would, but the main problem I ran into is the balance between burn duration and DPS output. I feel like finding a sweet spot here would actually make this a genuinely quite fun build, but playing around with the different balances might take a while. In its current state, I actually think it would be pretty fun for a season league speedrun build, running through challenging and hard enemies while being your own CC, but for heroic, especially with the elites, it was pretty rough. If you enjoyed this different take on a build video, let me know by leaving a comment with a random or underused piece of gear that you would like to see in a future off-meta video. And while you're down there, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe for future Division 2 content. And as always, a massive thank you to my supporters over on Patreon for helping me make this channel the best it can be. And if you would like to join them, you can support the channel for as little as £1 a month. You can find the link to the Patreon in the description below. If you would like to check out some more off-meta videos, you'll find them on screen now. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.